guys welcome back to my channel it's eliza mark who here also alicia also known as alicia i am coming to you today with a styling video i'm so excited i wanted to give you a few of my favorite spring looks today and it's just some of my favorite things that i've been wearing this spring it's going to be a quick video i want to make sure i do put out some fashion content um here on this channel we talk about all things fashion uh, beauty and lifestyle um, I have been posting a few vlogs here and there but I wanted to come back to the fashion because at the end of the day it's my favorite thing so if that's something you're interested in please stay tuned don't forget to like comment and subscribe um, and share this video with some other friends you know who also love fashion or need some styling tips so stay tuned Okay, girly, so today I have on this really, really cute outfit. Um, I'm in this mode, this classic mode, um, where I just want to wear like classic pieces. And I feel like what I have on today is the perfect example of that. Um, I am going to show you a couple things that are a bit trendy, um, but I wanted to show you ways to class them up. I am in this mode where I just want to be very clean and polished a lot of times, and I think this is a really good outfit. Um, I think you could wear this to work. Uh, I wore this to church uh, the other day, and it's just very simple, very clean, um, and just a really good, um, a really good uh, transitional outfit in my opinion um, it's very classic so these are probably items that you probably already have in your closet and that you could kind of recreate in your own way um, this is just a basic button up top you probably have one of these I like the stripes the stripes are a very big deal um, this season oh wait but these are something that are just they just never go out of style is a button up top with stripes it's even without stripes but stripes are just a little more classy um you can find these about anywhere i think this i don't even remember this this is from it's not even really a good quality shirt so i'm still on the hunt for a good quality i do have one that is in yellow and i got it from a thrift store it's tommy hilfiger i think it's a really good one I like this one because it is a little bit of stretch to it. Um, it's I wore this the other day, so I just pulled it out and showed you guys um, something that I have been wearing. I'm trying to show you things that I am pulling and loving this spring. So this is one of the outfits that I have. This skirt is actually from Amazon. I know we see a denim trend happening right now, and this is just a white midi skirt. Um, just a white mini skirt it's very uh forgiving i am wearing a size 18 this is from i believe it's the brand is jessica london but i found it on amazon um i wanted just a white maxi skirt um this is a midi though um and i okay so you can actually see it it is a midi um i think that this is perfect if you're not too sure about the maxi trend, if you're not too sure, if you're not too sure about white. I wanted white to go with my Alexander Wang sweater, um, denim jacket, and I think it pairs really good with the white in this striped shirt. So feet, I am wearing a pair of mules from um, Charles and Keith, which I'm actually, I just, like perused on that site and wanted to try a few different things that they had on the site and I'm actually really loving the way these look and feel they're very comfortable um they're very comfortable they look really good on they have this really cool heel uh they're just very comfy I'm wearing a size 10 which is a 40 i uh, think i'm a 41 honestly but these did fit quite well and they're nice they're nice they're good to go in jeans you can slip them on slip them right off they're very comfy i like the heel um i'm still on the hunt for a slingback in a black shoe but i really like the way these look here so yes obsessed with these I did pair this with just a black bag. Um, I plan on doing a video on 
some really cute affordable and I still consider them luxury handbags, good quality handbags. This bag is from Kurt Geiger. It's a really good option if you're looking for something that's um, a classic, uh, something that's very reminiscent of like a Chanel bag. To me, it's perfect. It's Kurt Geiger. It has really great opening. There's some stuff in here, so don't mind that. But it's a great quality bag the only thing i don't like is that it doesn't have feet but it's a good classic bag and i think a classic ba black bag is something you'll still be grabbing um even in the spring um i am on the hunt for a new spring bag but this just kind of brought in the black from the shoes and i just feel like the white and black look really good together so let's just move on to the next piece okay okay so I'm trying to figure out the best way to film this, so work with me here. <laughs> I am wearing a different look this time. I am wearing a skater skirt here that I um, got from Amazon. This naked blazer that I've showed you before and this like um, bodysuit from Amazon. Um, don't mind my boobs, they are full of milk right now. <laughs> baby sleeping and I paired these with some loafers the loafers I showed you the Sandra loafers I just really wanted to try this look out um, I saw like uh, this like schoolgirl. I don't even want to call it schoolgirl because then it makes me feel like nasty I don't know how to explain that like gross but um it's it more explicit like saying schoolgirl feels explicit to me but I saw like the pleated skirt pleated skirt is a trend right now and you'll see them everywhere you'll see like the bitty ones i just wanted to try the short one um you know i like the like the tennis like country club look and i thought this was really cute um i am pairing it with the loafers if i i have not wore this out i just think it was really fun to try um i have wore this skirt with um i wore it with uh, sneakers because you can do that too, like it's like you're on your way to tennis. It was a hot day and I wanted to be cute, so I wore it with sneakers. But I like this look together with the loafers as well. So let me know what you think. I would still pair this with the black bag and also the same white sunglasses. I just think this is really fun, really cute. Um, it's a really cute way to like, you know, go shopping with the girls or um go to brunch or even like a nice cute little date night um if you were you could put on heels um or even like a tall pair of boots in my mind that sounds really cute for like a date night you could wear it with a tall pair of boots and that would be really cute so sad i'm having issues with my camera but so this next look is very simple um i really think i'm like in this prepster mode <laughs> I am going to tie this actually. So I don't know what's going on with me. I don't know if like I need to go back to preparatory, if I need to like go back in time and have my parents like enroll me into boarding school or preparatory school or like, I don't know what's going on, but the prepster, the, 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 the lack of prepster in me prepster era like I'm in this mode I don't know if it's the loafers I don't know if it's the cardigan I don't know what it is I don't know if I've been watching succession and like just in this <laughs> I just want to be like this prepster girl I don't know what's happening but it's another like preppy look <laughs> it's probably just the loafers like I want to wear my pieces and I want to wear them time and time again and loafers and this is really my style like I feel comfortable I feel confident I feel like I can go to work I feel like I could go to church I feel like I could go multiple places um, I actually wore this to my school to my son's school for mystery reading day mystery reader day and it was quite chilly I had like my cardigan with me um, this cardigan is so cute uh, this cardigan is from L and M, um, and I got it because obviously my name starts with an E, and I'm obsessed with this. Um, I've been rocking this a, a few different ways, and I am loving it. Um, so I just have a basic white shirt, 
everyone should have one of these in their closet you should have a white one you should have a blue one and one with a pop of color um and i don't have it buttoned i just have it like loose and this is how i would wear it um but you can do so much with a white button up uh, you can pair it with skirts, you can pair it with jeans, you could wear it as a cover-up. This one's pretty like see-through, it's not really opaque, so I'm trying to stay out of the light. Um, and that was another reason why I wore the sweater. It was cold, but also this was kind of see-through. So I do have one that's a thicker... Oh no, I spilled some coffee on it or something. Um, the, I have one that is of thicker material as well. Uh, but this is just like a staple, a closet staple, right? And you can find these anywhere. You can get one a little more fitted. This one I did a little oversized because I'm trying to cover my little bump. Um, and the stirrup leggings are from Zara. Um, I got these quite some time ago, but you can get stirrup leggings from anywhere. Um, we saw like a trend of that, I think it was last season but they're still cute to me a legging is a legging it's it's a little more um elevated because it has like the little trim going down the center of the leg and then the stirrup looks really cute with heels or you know popping out of your um loafer like i have today i could have also wore this with a pair of sneakers i know everyone has the adidas sambas this would be cute with sneakers if loafers isn't your thing but this is a really simple really cute look um, that you can wear like out shopping or at your son's school or kids school for you know pickup or meeting teacher parent teacher conferences this is just a really cute look I love this sweater I'm actually going to use style this up a little bit more probably uh, I'll style this up actually with a pair of jeans so you can see how it kind of fits I love the fit of it it is kind of like a crappie type of sweater it's not a oh, let me show you it has really cute buttons on it. it has really cute buttons on there and some cute trim i will show you guys i will wear this as a shirt in a second so yes very much love this love this very much so that is another look so let's move on to the next one okay so the final look i have on is probably my favorite out of all of these um it's something that is very feminine and romantic and it just makes me feel really pretty so um i'm wearing this cute skirt that i just got from zara and um, it's new it's new in from zara so it should still be available i will definitely link it so i will definitely link that um it's very on trend with the maxi satin skirt but it feels so good like and, and romantic and i told you guys that that's something that i am in search of and trying to um, have more pieces that are a little more romantic in my uh, closet and it's a really really cute um, satin skirt and this really comfy and just very cute scooped I don't even know what to call this neckline it's not sweetheart but it's um, very reminiscent of the Kate sweater that you've seen you've seen a version of this type of sweater probably in a million places honestly I will link as many as I can find below this is old from mango um, it's actually my first time wearing it um, I didn't wear it while I was pregnant because obviously I was pregnant so found it in my closet and I'm like oh yes very cute so I'm wearing this today this is actually my outfit of the day and I'm about to head out um, but I love this skirt. Um, I love the way satin skirts look and feel. They're very on trend. This is like a medaxi. And I'm wearing these super, super cute um, ballet flats. In my Spring Trends video, I told you guys that I really wanted to try the um, ballet flat, flat trends. And I wanted to find some, some that were like the box toe. And Charles and Keith gave me exactly what I was looking for absolutely love them absolutely love them um they all, I believe they only had this color they might have had a different color but I would love to have a red pair of ballet flats with a box toe that would be so cute let me just wanted to say I also paired this with a trench coat which I think is a, a staple for spring um I have this green one which I'm not really a fan of but it works it still looks pretty nice um it's not the um 
It's not the ultimate trench coat that I would like. Um, I've always wanted a Burberry trench. That is something that's on my wish list. And I don't think I'll buy another one until I can find the Burberry trench that I'm looking for. That's the staple that I want to have in my closet for time. I think it's so necessary. It's a perfect light jacket um, to throw on. It's casual. It can be worn casually. It can wear, be worn dressed up. Perfect for like the rainy nasty weather that you sometimes experience in spring and I put this on because it was still a little chilly um today so I wore that with my Fendi bag um and a cute pair of shades and went out the door but I think a lot of these outfits are very um transitional for spring very cute i just want to do a quick little video and show you guys what i'm loving this spring um try to utilize things in your closet is what i'm trying to do i don't want to push and um encourage you to spend more money i want you to kind of look at my videos and see if there's something in your closet that you already own that is a staple in your wardrobe or in your style that you can kind of buy some new in pieces but not do extravagant hauls um, to try to keep up with trends because I think it's important to look at some items that you already have and create a style for yourself that transcend, transcends over time, right? So um, I think a lot of the times we just spend money because we see it, we see someone else wearing it and we want to spend, 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 spend. But I'm trying to be a little more proactive in using things that I already have in my closet. Now, some of these pieces I did buy new in. I wanted a new cardigan. That one is something that I'll keep in my wardrobe forever because it has my initials on it. Um, I am looking for more pieces that are a little more fun and playful, which I did order that skater skirt. But it was a trend I wanted to try. So I spent about $15 on the skirt. But I will say that I just wanted to do a quick video. There were some other spring pieces that I have in mind and I wanted to do another. Um, I think my next uh, video that I'll show you, um, I want to style up certain pieces and showcase them in a few different ways you can wear them. So that will be my next like fashion um, styling video because I want to focus on ways you can incorporate current trends into your current wardrobe. <laughs> without breaking too much of the bank right um and then I also want to show you guys some of my style as it is evolving my style I feel like continues to evolve um I still have a set thing that I like that I feel comfortable in in my body and I'm still trying to figure that out as I'm going through postpartum and accepting the body that <laughs> my baby gave me um i think it's fun to kind of play in some of these trends as well as still figure out where um i stand in the style that i want to showcase for myself anyway so i hope you guys enjoyed that video um don't forget to like and subscribe and also comment below let me know what you like what you're feeling if there was anything in here that i missed that um, I didn't link below. I'm tr I try to make sure I link every single thing. Um, and if it's not available, I try to link similar items that you can find. And I love giving you guys items that are on sale. So make sure you go ahead and look in the description box. I make sure to post and link everything that I think would be really cute for you guys to um, hop on. Um, Anyway, I hope this you enjoyed this video. I can't wait to create more fashion content for you guys to enjoy. Um, don't forget to, again, like, subscribe, comment below so I can chat with you. And also, make sure you hit the notification bell. I'm trying to stay consistent and make sure I'm giving you guys at least one video a week. Um, but you have to let me know that you actually are enjoying them. And once again, thank you so much for clicking on my face and choosing to watch my video. Signing out, Eliza Marcou. Bye. I'm gonna be extra when the camera go pop, 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 pop. The spring.